You are a dirty, low-down, pathetic, filthy snake. Oh, wait, I mean that about Zora, not you. You're beautiful. But this could be what you're saying to this boss as you're killed repeatedly. Or most likely, words that I cannot say on YouTube, but let's get into it. So you can charter a ship to Port Tyrus, or with 76 agility, you can teleport to the fairy ring BJS and hop on over here. Eventually, you'll also get teleport drops from this big back bitch, making it a lot easier. I'm using Fire Wave for my magic, and for my range, I'm using the magic short bow with rune arrows. Now you can alter to whatever you need. If you have thralls and a staff to cast with, I'd for sure bring those. I have a ring of suffering on. You can bring two or three rings of recoils with you to kill the snakelings. Other than that, if you can, bring some anti-venoms or a serpentine helm as it'll make your trips a hundred times easier. Also bring prayer pots or super restores and food or boosting potions as well. Now if you're an Iron Man and don't have the anti-venoms yet, you can either make a Guthix rest or an anti-poison of some sort. The anti-poison will turn the venom into regular poison after the first sip and the second sip will get rid of that poison. It's a bitch either way so just get used to it. Oh and if you want other gear than what I have on the screen, here's a picture of what the wiki recommends. I wouldn't go for this in much less gear than I currently have displayed. I will say an Ibn Staff or warped scepter is doable and a rune crossbow also works i'd bring diamond bolts e if you go that way now i highly recommend getting the zora helper plugin on rune light this makes it super brain dead i'm going to give a really brief breakdown of each phase in case that's all you may need but then i'm going to go more in depth with a full run explain how the zora plugin works the phases and some tips now you'll see on the screen here she is green meaning that Zora is attacking with range, and I attack her back with magic. Now she's red, I again attack her with magic, and you don't need to pray on this phase, just move, I'll touch more on this later, and during her blue magic phase, switch to your ranged gear and attack with range. And finally, the Jad phase, use your magic attacks, but if she pops up on the right side of the map, her first attack will be ranged, pray against this, switch to magic prayer, as that'll be your next move, I'd prioritize your prayers in this phase, and don't overthink it. Now I couldn't get a clip of this rotation, but if she spawns on the left side of the map, her attack patterns are reversed, and she'll start off with magic then ranged back and forth until you know that's it so with our full trip the zora plugin is going to tell you where to stand now you can see on the helper it has this white x at the bottom location and that's where we go buddy so she'll always begin with her green ranged phase use magic against this and stand in the spot where it tells you to now zora can't actually attack you directly on this phase so there's no need to pray currently there's a few set rotations don't freak out if you didn't get the exact one i did the helper's going to say that she'll do one of three things once she does this i click on the phase icon in the helper and it'll guide you on what What's going to happen just keep up with it as for the melee phase you don't gotta pray just once she turns towards you you have a couple ticks to move Typically, I try to get one shot off, then run in this L shape to another spot to avoid the tail whip. Just run back a few seconds after her attack. Don't go too soon or she won't retarget you. Switch to your ranged weapons. Pray magic for the blue phase. Also take note that her magic blue phase is a bitch and a half as she'll attack you with both range and magic. So if you're praying against mage but getting pieced up by 30s and 40s, it's not your fault. Back X just hates us and that reminds me, maybe keep above 41 or 42 hit points. Continue on using this plugin to help guide you where to stand. Think of clicking on the icons as updating the helper, telling it what's going on. Note that while the clouds may hurt you, they don't actually poison you. It's the little Zora spawn alien things that do. And if you're in this spot next to the pillar during the melee phase, you don't need to do anything at all as she can't actually reach you. Again, this boss has a few different rotations, so if you're not getting the same ones on screen, it's fine. That's why we have the Zora plugin. As long as you keep up with it, it'll tell you what's going on. Think of this as like training wheels or something, I don't know. Just don't stand in the clouds, you're fine. Alright, towards the end of the rotation cycle is the Jad phase. Again, if Zora spawns on the right side, she's going to firstly attack with range, then switch to magic for her next attack. She repeats this back and forth pattern for a little bit. Now if you're in a different rotation and she spawns on the left side of the map, Zora will attack with magic first, followed by range, and that's it. I will say this kill took me about 3 minutes with this gear. With the Bofa, I can normally do about a minute and 20 on average. I have a PV of like a minute and 3 I think, but it just depends on your gear. So if you want a Bofa guide, I already made one of those in the past. Now I'm by no means great at this boss as you can see, but I hope I could at least level with you and explain it um, like noob to noob I guess, by trying to put this as simply as I can. I know when I was trying to learn it, a lot of this stuff confused me, I didn't know what the helper was, so that's kind of why I harped on it a little bit, because I'm kind of slow. Now some bosses can take a lot of practice to complete, this can be one of them. And if you're dying a lot, don't worry, your stuff is held by the priestess at the docks, you can get your stuff back for free until you've passed the 50kc mark, in which you'll charge 100kgp. This hoe has robbed me completely blind I hate her and I hate myself also if she has your stuff and you die again outside a safe zone it'll all be lost forever so don't forget it 
Now, I am begging you once again to click that like and subscribe button as we're close to 2k and it's like I'm being edged. Now, also, if you want to come hang out, I have a Twitch. I've been streaming a lot more often and play other games such as like Elden Ring, Paper Mario, and have more planned in the near future, so we would love to see your pretty face, but until next time. What's up? Are you seriously watching Porn Fires? No? No! I'm with the science team!